Hey there, and welcome back. We have a new version of R1CBU. You will not find it at r1cbu.ru this time. It is actually on GitHub is where it's being maintained. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to first say thank you to these channel members. So we'll fade in and say hey to Toby, Alpha Delta 2, Charlie Delta, Ham Radio Hobby, N3, PEM. They are loyal fans. The fan of growth is WD4DAN, Front End Overload, Georgia Parks and Propagation, Alpha Echo 4, X-Ray Oscar. Check out both of their channels. And then you have KO4, FSZ, Antennas. And that can be found, he can be found at KO4FSZ.com. Check out his homebrew antennas. They are super nice and they work wonderfully. All right, so let's go ahead and go straight to the Beans and Franks. Let's go to GitHub. This link will be down in the description so that you can get to the latest V version 0.24.1. It is the latest as of three days ago. And I finally had a chance to sit down. Here's what we're going to do is download the SD card image dot zip. Now, you'll notice that my downloads place is a little bit different this time because I'm going to put it in the Shigu firmware folder that I keep in my documents. And I'm going to rename this to R1CBU. You do not have to rename your files, but I'm just going to say 024-1 SD card image and I'm going to hit save or you can hit enter. So. At this point, I need to switch screens so you can actually see what is happening. So you can see right here, after I opened it, I'm going to save it into my Shigu firmware location. Now it says that this already exists. So that's interesting. I must have already downloaded it once somehow. Okay, so we'll just ignore that. There it is. You can open the folder. Now what you want to do is click Extract All. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to show extracted files when complete. Boop. All right, there it is. There's the SD card image. And now you're going to fire up Rufus. That is my... SD card writer of choice. So we have boot 16 gigabytes. We are going to select the SD card image, which is, yes, that is correct one. You don't have to change anything else. Once you hit start, this is where, boop, I click OK, boop, it says, oh, we're going to get rid of, yes, we're going to get rid of it. So now it closes that folder. And you can see that it should start to do its thing right here. This is where I will take a break. Once we get into the X6100 with the R1 CPU firmware, we're going to start it right up into it. And I'll show you how it works. We'll explore some of its idiosyncrasies and things that probably still need to be fixed. But for CW, it's a champ. Okay, so there it is. It is installed. Now at this point, we're gonna take the SD card out of the computer. Boop, boop. Goodbye. And now we're gonna move over to the X6100. Now that we're at the X6100, you're gonna insert your card, and I make this mistake every time, but it's gold side up. You put the SD card into the side, and you just leave it. It's not going to boot in stock firmware anymore. When you turn this on, it is going to show a quick blip of some Linux stuff, and then the R1 CPU logo pops up. Boom. There it is. Let's see if it takes forever to start up this time. I know that the last one took a while. It seems to take, what is that, 10 seconds? There it is, 0.24.1. Oh, 
we are not going to hear much because at this point I have a dummy load attached to the rig. But we have the volume. Let's see what the volume set at. So you can hear goes to 55. Let's look at TX power. Oh, wait, wait. I always forget. TX power. When you push it, then you use this. So I have an external power connected. It's 10.7. Oh, did you see that up there? That's pretty cool. And let's see. I think the time is right for... That's good. So the time is right for UTC. I don't know how I did that. So, if you leave it on the power, you can't control your volume, but let's, uh, let's take it down to two and a half watts for now. I'm going into a dummy load. I have my QRP guys multi-tuner. You can tune, and supposedly it has a dummy load on it that will protect your radio. My dunce load that I usually use is over in the corner over there. So, if you go back to audio volume, now you have your control of your volume. This is set, set to spectral zoom, so I guess you can zoom in. All right, so let's go look at the next thing. You got filter low. Okay, you still have to use that right here. So that's your low filter. I'm gonna keep that at, uh, what, 200 hertz? Filter high, you can filter. Oh, dead coming. Holy cow, you can open that thing way the heck up. You can hear the change where it matters right there. So, this is on upper sideband, so you can put it wherever you want to put it. 2900 is probably, probably good enough. Filter bandwidth, 2700. So you could change your filter bandwidth this way. That's pretty nice. Speaker mode, speaker mode is off. Now, when I, I don't wanna be on 30 meters for this because that's not what. Let's go to. Ooh, man, you can really zoom through the band right there. It's uh, doing it by halves. That needs to be changed. The step is a little too big uh, for my liking. Uh, on SSB, that's probably fine unless you're doing like a contest weekend. But one of the issues that I had in this is when we keyed up and tested, it feeded back. There was a lot of feedback. Whiskey One, Radio Charlie, Papa, testing, testing, testing. Oh, it doesn't feed back even with the monitor now. So that that's new. This is whiskey. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yep. So the monitor, having the monitor on is probably not necessary. So we need to find where the monitor is and turn that jump down. Um, that's if you're wearing headphones. It is nice to have that full duplex in your ears. But for having it out like this, probably not such a hot idea. Okay. So let's go to the next settings and see what else we have. We have mic select, and you can select whatever mic you want. You have the mic gain, which should be set at, I guess you can go as high as 50. Oh yeah, squeaker squeaking. We're gonna leave that at 20. Internal mic gain is set to 30. Monitor level, let's turn that down. This is Whiskey One, Radio Charlie Papa. Hey, there's no feedback now. All right. All righty, so that is volume three of four. And then you have voice, which I have not recorded any voice stuff. So uh, this is if, if the radio is going to talk to you. So I don't even know if I want this thing to talk at me. So we'll, I guess it's not doing it. Now you have your multi-function knob. That's where you can change your levels. Spectrum zoom, spectrum beta. Let's look at the next one. Spectrum fill, peak, peaks hold, peak speed. Um, 
I would set it to transmit XIT. So now your multifunction knob is your XIT. Or you could use RIT if you wanted to. Uh, what is this antenna? There's, no, there's not more than one antenna. I only have one antenna. Maybe that is if you have different antennas and you wanted the tuner to remember them. Uh, that's a theory. I don't know. You'd have to test that out. But I'm going to keep this on XIT for now. Let's see what else we have in here. AGC Hank, that's your, uh, okay, so. Then we have memory. So, says set one. Uh-oh, I don't know what I just did. Is Let's find out, is that memories? Like memory, memory, yes. Okay, so these are your memories right here. And you can have eight memories for this, I guess this particular band, I guess is how that works. So now we're back to the beginning. Okay, so I think that that would be enough for us to use our radio. All right, let's go see about applications. Let's see, we have RTTY, see FT8, you can use a GPS. Supposedly you can hook up a GPS to this. I don't have one, so I can't do that. <gasps> this has been added? This was not here before. Let's check this out. I'm clicking run. So we could adjust our, okay, yep. So we need to take that down and maybe take that down. Now we're running all the way through our um, resistor back here and it, it is getting warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop. Let's see if that stops it. There we go. So, hey, that's great to have in there. Let's go back and see what else that we have here. Recorder. This is what I'm looking for. I guess these are your settings. So it is September 24th, according to the UTC time, which is what I like to keep in here. Let's see, which knob? Nope, that's changing our frequency. There we go. You can use your MFK knob to slide through here. Line in, line out. Let's see if there's anything that I want to update. Okay, so we've gone through. We're just going to keep zooming. All right, we're back to the beginning. There's the end. So I don't have a transverter. So, okay, so that was fun to look at. Let's go back to app. Let's go back to here. Let's go to recorder. Let's see what happens if we hit record. Let's see, check, check, check. What is it recording from? That is recording the radio itself. I'm not, I don't, I don't wanna record the radio itself. I wanna see how do you record messages? Let's see. CQ parks on the air, CQ parks on the air. Okay, I better stop. Well, I don't know if monitor needs to be on or if the volume needs to be turned up. I heard something. Let's try again. I never, I, I, I remember last time I couldn't quite get this to work. CQ Parks on the Air, CQ Parks on the Air. This is Whiskey One Radio, Charlie Papa. Let's do an experiment. Let's go back to general. Maybe the monitor level has something to do with this. 
Let's find out. Let's go back to message. Nope, that doesn't do anything. Okay, I still haven't figured out how to do that yet. But that was that was pretty ugly because the monitor it makes the microphone live. So I guess that is one one thing that doesn't work yet. I don't know why that work doesn't work, but let's uh let's delete this and let's record one more. Let's go back to general. Go back to monitor level. Let's turn that back down because I definitely don't want that feedback. Let's go back to message and let's record. CQ Parks on the air. CQ Parks on the air. This is Whiskey One Radio Charlie Papa. And then the pile up ensues. See, it's just the microphone is live as jump right here. So I don't know why. It's not coming through. Okay, but what if we send... Stop! Bad! Okay, so that's one thing. I've never got it to work. Um, it's just major feedback. It makes the microphone live. You can see that was horrible. Okay, so that's one thing that I've never gotten to work. Now, what about in CW? Um, let's see, digital notch function, two, there's your noise block, and noise reduction and noise reduction level, so I guess that goes by fives all the way up, we'll try that out. Whoa, that does quiet things up quite a bit. How about that? Okay, I don't think DFL does anything. That's just a, uh, a key that is there. You can set something to it. Let's go back to app. So you can record from the radio, supposedly. Let's try that out, let's see. Kilo Oscar. Oh. Why is that feeding back? What the crap? Is the monitor level still too high? Whiskey One, Radio Charlie Papa. Uh, hey there, Kilo Oscar for November, Lima Lima. How are you, buddy? Oh, I'm just doing all right. So it's still recording, so now we'll stop. Let's, let's see, recorder is off. Can you hear it? Nope, it's just holy moly, stop. Okay, anytime you hit that button, it is gonna make your microphone go live. All right, let's go to a different mode now. Let's go to CW. Let's go back to general. We're gonna put this down. Now I have a... doesn't know what speed I'm sending at, but that's pretty cool that it shows it. It's set to straight key mode right now, so let's go figure this out. All right, come on now. This is the MFK. Remember, I wanted the RIT XIT for my multi-function knob. Okay, so you can set your memories again right here. I'm, ah, oh. see that's the one thing. Oh, it's faster if you use this button. Let's see, setting one, does it take us back to, yeah, unfortunately, if you do that, you have eight settings. Let's go back to CW. Okay, let's go to the application. We have recorder again. But with the microphone plugged in, that's gonna be a horrible idea. I guarantee you if I record this, it is gonna be major screeching if that microphone's plugged in. Oh, you can record just fine, let's see.
Now I swear I hit record. Okay, let's, uh, I know this is gonna make the mic live. If you're in the CW band, you do not wanna do this. But, there's something going on, but we can't hear it. I don't know where that's coming from. I don't know how you could listen to that unless you're on the computer. So we'll just stop that. Okay, that's enough of that mess. So you can see that it transmits. Let's go to message. Now, how can you record? Well, and until, until I have the key set, tone 700 Hertz, that's, that's fine. Here mode, manual, no, no, that's the monitor level. Get your crap together, Robbie. Here we go. Oh, I'm struggling with my key. This is so slow. I'm not used to how slow that is. Okay, um, let's see. Key mode we set. You can set your iambic mode if you'd like. Quick shift keying time ratio. Where is the key speed? That was 15 words a minute. That didn't feel... struggling today. Okay, so then you can control your key volume right here. That should be the MFK. That's nothing. And that, I usually keep it where the whole campground can hear it. I don't know, we don't want to do any training. Tone was 7 hertz, 700 hertz. Key mode, I make quick shift keying time. I like to have quick shift keying on because I like to hear in between what I'm sending. That's just me. And your ratio is usually three to one. You could, if you change that, it's gonna mess. See how short your dash is? I think three and O oh is about how you like to have that. And that's your, okay. So how do we record Again, uh, you know, I forgot to say at the beginning of this, this is an exploration. Um, this is, you know, you, you get what you get. I'll try to label where I'm working at in the uh, description. Let's see. It says send. Let's see. You can do new. Ah, this is where an external keyboard would come in handy. Now, if you're lazy, I also do 
This is one of those quick messages when you need to take a drink. I learned this from K4SWL Tom. It just says, thank you, thank you, day 73, day W1RCP. And you punch this one if you just need a quick break. So if I'm like... dog and then they go back at us okay so that's how you set those up super so that's uh go back to volume what is this still monitor level we don't have to set that for this so i might go back into the mfk after i'm done doing all my settings and set the transmit for the MFK button and then we go back to well, probably the easiest way to get back to it audio volume so that way I can turn it down if I need to that is just me I can't blame it on anything but my keying. All right, so the CW works great. And those are really the only two modes that I use on the radio is CW and SSB. Uh, there's AM. Uh, we do know if I had another radio, um, I want to know if trying to think how can we do this I'm trying to think if there's a way that we can there is there is there is give me just a moment we're listening to to my rig here at the house so it ooh, this is gonna get crazy so it does come through the radio when we look at it this way so let's go back to message and let's Let's pretend we just finished a QSO and we need to take a drink. Well, that works. Let's go to upper sideband. Let's go back to general. Upper sideband. Let's see if it at least plays the recording. Let's go back to message. Go right back and transition back to here. We will shut RCF orb off. And now we'll come back to the radio. Alrighty, so we've explored a pretty good bit here. The recordings don't work for voice, so that kind of stinks. I don't know if there's a fix that might be a bug that I could uh, send up to the devs. So we've done pretty much everything I think that we really need to do. How does the tuner work? I'm not trying to tune a frying pan or anything, but that seems to work. Uh, what if you hold down menu? So if you hold down the menu key, 
That's your frequency step is 10 hertz, 5,000 hertz, 1,000 hertz, 500 hertz, 100 hertz. I guess if you want to switch that so you can see how fast you want to blast through, that might still be fast if, you, if you're on a contest weekend and folks are all over the place. Okay, so attenuate. Preamp on, preamp off. Attenuate on, attenuate off. So that works. Um, you have A and B, VFOA, VFOB, so that's pretty sweet. Let's see, you can go to memory. Nope, that one doesn't work. So VM doesn't work. You can move. Nope, that one doesn't do anything either that I can tell. Okay, so that's, that doesn't do anything. Um, AGC is auto. What if you hold this down? Split. So that's how you work split. Okay, that's pretty cool. How do you save? Okay, so A equals B. So then you can do your split if you want to work split that way. Oh, that's AGC. I use auto for now. Split. So there's your split. I guess you can change one of them depending on which one you're on. So you're listening on 14228, transmitting on 14227. It's usually the other way around. So there's split B. That, that's usually how it would be. Okay, so split works. The menu doesn't do anything except change your dial speed. I think this does something, but I don't remember. If you hold it down, that's the reset. Uh-oh, I think we found another bug. 14228, let's hit this. Oh, so it does lock it. It turns gray, it looks like, but I don't see a lock. So if you push it again, it turns white. So if it's gray, it locks it out. Okay, so the lock does work. That's pretty awesome. Okay, just don't hold it down because it shuts your radio off apparently.